my bench warmer again. Brilliant, yes. Well, it, it was your idea. Oh, a, a mutual idea then. Come on, Marcus. The game's about to start. Sorry, Billy, but I I've got a lot of work to do for my class presentation this afternoon. Oh, come on, Marcus. What are you working on that's so important anyway? It's a surprise. You'll see later. Oh, they'll be surprised and impressed. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, well, of course, you know. He never misses baseball. Is Marcus all right? It looks like he's talking to himself and laughing. <laughs> Guess he's finally lost it. <laughs> Come on, Billy, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus. Oh. Oh. Marcus, are you okay? Pal. Pal. Uh, oh, are you all right, pal? Me? I'm fine, but I'm worried about. Just Relax. sit down, Marcus. Take it's it easy. easy. Oh, hi, Marcus. I feel a little woozy. <gasps> <gasps> Are you all right? I think so, but I do seem to be suffering from a slight uh, visual disturbance. Oh, there we go. Marcus, who or what is this guy? He's, he's my pal. I gotta make sure he's okay. Marcus is Just cool. his pal. Well, we've defragmented, defibrillated, and defoliated. She seems to be running just fine. I am the Pal 9000, Marcus the Boy Genius's latest and greatest creation. Please call me Pal. Okay, uh, Pal, I'm... Buford. I know all about you, Buford. Physical plant engineer. Also involved in some rather impressive covert operations with the CIA, FBI, <laughs> and the SPCA. But we won't go into that, will we, Buford? Uh, no. Uh, we, we, we better not. I programmed Pal with intellect, personality, interests, and abilities very similar to my own. That's why we're so compatible. Pal is the most advanced form of artificial intelligence ever created. Ah, <laughs> go on. What is this kid talking about? I created the most advanced form of artificial intelligence long ago in my one and only EnviroMaster computer. So that's what it's called. Why, that kid's little toy pocket computer is like a... a toy pocket computer compared to my... my big computer. Exactly. Why, that kid could take that pocket thing and just stick it in his pocket and go anywhere with it. Whereas your computer is bulky and cumbersome. So it's stuck here permanently with you and me. Uh, where it belongs. Oh. Pal was designed to be not only a super intellect, but also a good friend. Well, not a good friend, your best friend. Uh, Marcus, as impressive as Pal is, it still seems a bit strange being best friends with a computer character. Doesn't seem strange to me. Nor me. Besides, I thought you already had a best friend. Not like Pal. <laughs> Go on. The PAL 9000 keeps track of my study and reading schedules, all my assignments, my daily diary, and he's also a very talented mimic. He can impersonate any voice he hears. Get out of here! This I gotta see to hear to believe! Get out of here! This I gotta see to hear to believe! <laughs> <laughs> Big deal. Big deal. I'm Billy O'Toole, oh. and I do what I do, because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> but Pal can perform much more complicated tasks. He could run a factory, or a power station, a hospital, even an entire small town. What hogwash! No kiddy computer could do all that! I don't know, Phantom. He sure is good at voices. Was specifically designed to maintain the school of the 23rd century. Wow, I it would be known as an edu station, a mobile, completely self contained environmental bubble. It could exist anywhere in the desert, at the bottom of the sea, uh, miles beneath the surface of the earth, or even the, out in space. Everything would be automated moving hallways, motorized desks, voice activated blackboards, 
eating machines in the cafeteria, and Pal would be responsible for maintaining and monitoring the entire environment. The only computer capable of controlling the environment of such a school is my computer, the Enviromaster! You mean you could kind of call Pal a kind of Enviromaster or something? Sort of. Only the name Enviromaster doesn't quite do Pal justice. No, that name is rather ugly. Clunky, uh, unimaginative. That smarty pants toy computer thinks he's pretty smart, doesn't he, Reticus? He thinks he can handle the school of the future, doesn't he? Perhaps we should see just how smart this Pal guy is, shouldn't we? Uh, that's an awful lot of questions at once, Phantom. <laughs> You don't have to have a head full of RAM to figure that one out, pal. Temperature is falling in some locations, rising drastically in others. The air pressure is fluctuating wildly. The integrity of the structure itself is faltering. The whole building could break apart in a matter of minutes. It's as if there's nobody at the controls. Billy can take the controls. He's good at that kind of thing. Well, yeah. It's what I do. No, we need a much greater intelligence. Uh, that is a different kind of intelligence, Billy. A computerized intelligence. This is a job for the PAL 9000. That'd be me. <laughs> Figures. No time to lose. We've got to find the control room. According to my calculations, the control room is located in the auditorium. We initiate an interlock between the Marcus Mini Megamind and the control panel, then Pal can take over the controls and stop the system from self-destructing. Just what I was thinking, old buddy. Are you ready, Pal? How do you feel? I, 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 I feel a little nervous, actually. Perhaps we should go over the parameters one more time. That's just what I was thinking. We should just, just do, do it! it. <laughs> ah, they're playing right into my hands, Raticus. And what clammy, pale little hands they are, Phantom. It worked! Why, I, that was the most exciting thing I've done since, well, well, ever, actually. The system is completely stabilized. You did it, pal! I couldn't have done it without you, Marcus. You are truly brilliant. Ah, oh, no, you're you're much more brilliant. And you have a wonderful personality. Only because you programmed me that way. This is what happens when good friends work together on a common goal. Good friends? Best friends. All right already. The question is, now what do we do? Well, everything's under control. Why don't you guys go have a look around? The school of the future is a pretty exciting place. You'll have a great time uh, learning and laughing and then learning some more and laughing some more and then... Sounds good. Lydia, you do the learning and I'll do the laughing. Let's go. But Marcus, it's got to be Earl who's behind this. Relax, Billy. With Pal monitoring all activity, there's nothing Earl can do without us knowing it. That's what they think! <laughs> yeah, that's what they think. They think... What is it they think exactly? <laughs> Come on, Billy. It'll be fun. Are you coming, Marcus? Uh, I think I better stay with Pal. Fine. The self-sufficient biodome includes a huge greenhouse. It also contains a farmyard and fish pond in the West Wing. Tours to the West Wing are available every second Tuesday. The school of the future will have self-cleaning walkers. And educational supplies <gasps> everywhere. In the 
Valley School of the Future, students will receive round-the-clock individual instruction! From me, of course. Ho-ho! But what happened to all the other teachers? They've all been, uh, retired. What do you mean, retired? What have you done with them? Nothing. They're in the new staff lounge. Have a look. Out of my way! It's lunch time! Whoa! <laughs> I still don't like this. Marcus's pal is controlling everything. He can see us and hear us. He's watching us right now. So what? Doesn't that remind you of anyone? <laughs> Does it remind you of anyone, Radicus? <laughs> no, not really. Why don't you go join the others, Marcus? Have a first-hand look at the school of the 23rd century. Uh, I don't know. Billy seems to be in kind of a bad mood. Well, you have been spending a lot of time with me lately. Go on. I can look after everything. I have a nice surprise in store for that ridiculous cyber geek. A virus! Ah! Relax. It only affects intelligent thinking machines. You mean, like, I'm immune? I'd say so. <laughs> Are you okay, pal? Yes, I'm fine, but uh, to be honest, <laughs> I am a little worried about handling things on my own. Well, I'd better stay then. We make a great team, Marcus. No wonder Billy is jealous. <laughs> You're right. He is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> The 23rd century is great. Yeah, but I'm worried about that assignment Mrs. Snodgrass gave us last week. It's got to be 400 years overdue by now. Something's definitely not right. Marcus, Marcus, are you there? We've got a situation here, Marcus. The machines are starting to malfunction all over Ugh. Ugh. the place. I don't see any indication of that here, pal. No, there's nothing wrong at all. Uh, Billy must be mistaken. Aha! Our plan is working like a charm, Radicus. It sure is. Plan, you say? Hal is wrong. We've got to do something now. He is so jealous. <laughs> You're just jealous, Billy. If Hal says everything is fine, then everything is fine. Marcus, you've got to listen. He hung up on you? The knife! Hal cut me off. There's definitely <gasps> something wrong with him. Yeah, his appearance has changed. Yes, it's the most dangerous thing that can happen to an artificial intelligence. He's had a makeover! Whatever it is, Marcus obviously can't see it. We've got to get back to the control room. <laughs> Pal, what happened to your glasses? A and your teeth? Contacts and cyber orthodontics. They've changed my life, Marcus. <laughs> and your hair. Do you like it? <laughs> Ruby! <gasps> This way! Lydia! I'm in here! Help! Billy, she's in here! Lydia, no! <laughs> Billy's right! The environmental gauges are showing wild fluctuations! What's going on? We're safe in here, Marcus. <laughs> Why are you coughing like that? Coughing? <laughs> I'm not coughing. <laughs> I 
We've got to help my friends. <gasps> Hi! I'm your only real friend, Marcus. <laughs> of course. Hi! Yeah! Separation to anxiety there, yeah, but I'm okay. Marquez! Marquez! Uh, Marcus? Are you <gasps> doing? Marquez! <gasps> Marcus, down <stand> here! <gasps> Pal cut them off. They're trapped. We've got to save them somehow. Earl must have infected Pal with some kind of virus. I I'm sorry, Billy. You must be really mad at me. Best friends don't stay mad. Yeah. Just tell me you have an idea to get us out of this. Come on. <laughs> Once we tap into the main computer, we should be able to trap Pal back on the mini Megamind. Then, I can run my antivirus program. But I, I can't be sure it'll work. Pal seems stronger by the minute. It's the only chance we've got. Okay, Billy, now! Hey! What's going on? Hey! What's going on? Running antivirus program! Now I'm very irritated! Billy. Billy, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I think so. I'm okay too, fellas. Thanks for asking. Pal! I can't apologize enough for my behavior, especially towards you, Billy. I, I don't know what got into me. That's okay, pal. Earl infected you with the virus. Yes, we'd better keep Earl occupied. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. I don't see the girls anywhere. Let's find them. We've got to save them. Uh, Marcus, I want you to send me back into the edge station mainframe. If I can get Earl to reopen contact, I can download myself to Earl's computer and initiate a self-destruct sequence. Self-destruct? But... That means you'll be destroyed, too. What will I do without you, pal? You'll have your friends, Marcus. Goodbye, pal. <laughs> this is a bit much. Hey, I'm really good at this evil genius stuff. Why, I'm a much greater evil genius than the Phantom can ever be! He is pretty good, fast. Silence! I am the Phantom! And I alone am responsible for everything that has happened here, including this! Whoa! Lydia! Ruby! <coughs> you saved us! It's what, what we, we do! do. Why, you pathetic cyber fool! With a mere touch of my fingertip, I could make you disappear! Where did he go? Hey, look, Phantom! Initiating self-destruct sequence! Ah! Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Come on, Marcus. The game's about to start. I'll be right there. Pal, 
you're, you're back. We thought you were, um, uh, uh, deleted. At the last second, I downloaded myself into the school's computer system. I ended up on Mr. Meaner's hard drive. Once she logged onto the internet, I was free. Oh, we were just about to play baseball. Don't let me keep you. I'm off to do some traveling. There's a great big worldwide web out there, and I want to see it all. But don't worry, I'll be back! See you later, pal.